Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> Where the hell did you guys come from? What? No way. That's hacks. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, it's only been a couple of moments, actually, since I left you in the last episode. And uh, what we're going to do is go into the beta mine. We are looking specifically for plutonium and uh, titanium so that we can then make the forge. Uh, so the mine is just right up over this hill. And I think we're about as prepared as we can be. We've got uh, a little bit of food. And you know what? Actually, before we go in there, let's make another space debris chest. I'm going to press F3, go to utility, space debris chest. Um, that would seem to indicate we can stack it on top of there, but it's red. What? This location overlaps another object. So, oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay. Um, I wonder if... I don't know. I can't explain that. <laughs> we got it to work, though. That's the main thing. All right, let's put a few more things in here that we don't need to take in with there with us. I mean, I mean uh, we should probably take the berries for food. I'm going to keep these berries here. We'll take these. We got one thing of meat. We got a few bandages. We're going to have to be really careful because we don't have a lot of stuff. All this other stuff... Um, I'm going to keep the ores with me. Well, am I? Nah, let's not keep the ores. Uh, we, we, want the, uh, we want the duct tape for sure. Um, I have... Is there any more water in here? Oh, man, just a tiny, tiny amount. So, all right. I think, I think we're going to keep this in here for, for now, too. We'll take the food, the first aid. Uh, we don't need the bug eyes. We're going to keep this and this and this. Uh, we only have four of those, though. And then, you know, we might as well just put this extra ore. We're going to, I think we're going to run into all of these ores in there, too. But that doesn't mean we have to take them in there, either. So we'll just put the 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 ones that we have the most of, just so we can get our weight down. Because, you know, there is encumbrance and so forth in the game. You can actually, your character can carry a lot of stuff. But eventually, you know, it, you will get encumbered. So, uh, all right, what do we got in here? Yeah, nothing that we need to bring in there with us. So we're just going to have to be really careful uh, going into the beta mine uh, for the first time around because our resources are very limited. You know, another thing I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to... Let's get down here. I'm going to rearrange my, my toolbar, too. So let's put the knife in one, the chisel in two. We do not need this in there. Um, in fact, we don't... Uh, do we need this in here? No, I don't think so. I don't think we disassemble anything here. We just loot crates and harvest uh, resources. So probably putting this down here is going to be useful. For food and water, we can just take these as needed. And we still have this too. So uh, I guess we can put that down there for like in an emergency situation. Okay, so speaking of food and water, I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer because um, we can also heal with this too. So we'll kind of use it both as healing and um, for nutrition. Okay, so let's head on in here. We might find some food in here too, which would be nice. Okay, so beta mine. Yeah, scary. Uh, what I'm going to do is I don't know if turning on the lights attracts the monsters or not. I haven't noticed a difference uh, I've been in here without the lights on and with them on, and they still seem to come no matter what. Uh, so we're just going to turn the lights on. Now, we do have our own uh, light, too, which we can turn on. I guess we'll do that, but it will run out of battery, so we have to kind of be careful of that. All right, now we're going to start looking at all of these crates. And, you know, we get cloth, we get duct tape, sometimes we get some food. And the thing about this is, like I mentioned earlier in the last episode... Um, all of this stuff will respawn. So if, as soon as we leave the cave, we can come back in and reloot them. But we also, all, the monsters all respawn too. The samples racks, I don't think have anything in them. I've never seen anything in the samples racks. So let's grab this crate. Okay, good. We got some food in here, uh, which is great. We got a potato, some apples, and some of the berries uh, too. So that's really good because this gives us a nutrition bonus of 20. Why doesn't it give us... 
Why doesn't this give us any uh, hydration? Apples would do that in real life. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, okay, so let's carefully work our way this way. And like I said, we're going to find uh, more crates. And we're going to also have to start fighting monsters. In fact, let's get our knife out right now and just get ready because they're going to they're going to come up that way and start attacking us. One of the things I've noticed that the monsters will sometimes do is they'll sometimes glitch through the walls. And if you're lucky, they'll actually get stuck in the walls. But they don't always get stuck. Sometimes they can get right back out and still come after you. <coughs> Gazuntite. Okay, here's our first contestant. Uh, Alright, so he's, uh, he's not, he's, I mean, he's nasty enough, but he's not usually super hard to kill. I guess it depends on his level, though, too. So, see, he's getting glitched in the wall. But he's not like. The, yeah, the hitbox is so weird. If, if you're like right underneath him and you strike, it doesn't hit him, which makes no freaking sense. You have to be in front of him like a. I don't know. I don't know what the exact distance is, but you have to be like about this close to him to hit him. It's just so bizarre. I hope that's a bug that they're going to fix because it doesn't make sense um, for me to be right under his belly and not be able to hit him. Now, these guys, strangely enough, will give you um, ammunition. <laughs> Don't ask me how that works, but they do. So um, that's good. All right. Our hydration and nutrition is getting kind of low. So I think what we're going to do is let's go back over here. So our back's against the wall. And uh, we're going to go into our inventory. And I'm going to eat apples it makes no sense whatsoever that these cannot don't give us any hydration but it they don't so you know whatevs uh, these will give us a decent amount of hydration but they are going to hurt us a little bit too uh, but we need to get that hydration up so hydration levels are now satisfied let's let's um, let's do one more and then we're going to eat uh, you know what? I should have saved that okay what we'll do is let's just take our um, our little bandages. No, that was not my little bandage. Oh, shoot. I hit the wrong key. I meant to do four. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for our emergency medical health kit. Uh, that wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do, but it happened. All right. So we're, we're going to just keep the, the meat down here because, you know, again, we can use that to heal later. Well, we're in damn good shape now. Oh, boy. That was a mistake. <laughs> this shit happens, though, right? Okay. Let's head on out and continue our foray into the beta mine here. So I think we hit all of these uh, these guys here. Let's just double check. Oh, no, we didn't. I think we got attacked um, when we were looking in those. Did we hit these? I'm just going to check them again. Now, you can sneak in the game, which I'm doing right now, or crouch. Uh, or no, I guess I'm doing crouch now. I haven't noticed this make a huge difference, and it seems like the monsters detect you no matter if you're crouched or not. It could have something to do with the light, maybe? Not really sure, but yeah. Uh, all right, so let's come down through here. This is a, a mineral node that we're going to go after, but I already see spin spindly leg shadows. Yep. Okay, so this is the little scorpion monkey guy. But he actually went down the stairs. So let's hit this a couple times. It's probably going to attract some attention. But we're looking for titanium and plutonium. I think we'll find plutonium a little deeper in the mine. Got a little bit of lead and some more aluminum. Oh, there's a, a piece here, too. All right. Uh, nobody's coming at the moment. Oh, we got some titanium. We need one more piece of titanium, and then we'll be able to make... Uh, or we'll have enough titanium, I should say, to make the forge. Okay, let's come around through here. Okay, so this is a side room. See, it gets a little tricky because they can... They could come from either direction. Um... I don't think, yeah, we're not going to find anything there. Let's, let's hit this one first so we can kind of watch both sides here. And then we'll go down. Okay. 
Okay, so that took care of that. Um, did Okay, here comes a monster. You see a shadow on the wall there? It's another one of those guys. All right, let's fight him back this way so we're not having something coming up from the side to get us to. See, now, I've seen him do that before, too. He glitches up into the ceiling. And I don't know... He might be stuck up there now. I'm not really sure. Uh, if he's not, then that's going to suck for us because he's going to drop right on our head. There comes... Uh, that guy's called the Minotaur thing, thingamadool guy. Okay. Let's see what he does. Okay, we'll kill him. No, don't go down there. You son of a... Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that guy up on the ceiling because I don't want him dropping off on us. All right, come on. Just you and me, bud. So, yeah, that's about the distance you need to be from these guys to hit them. It's just really weird. I think, you know, when you're within arm's range, you should be able to hit him no matter how close he is. They, I, apparently they used to not be able to come up these stairs all the way, but that is no longer the case, as you can see. Come here, you mofo. Alright, that's a punished minotaur. Here comes monkey guy. As soon as you loot these uh, bodies, they uh, they disappear. They sink in the ground, but they won't... They won't do that until you loot them. They'll stick around for... I don't know if they'll stick around forever, but they'll stick around for quite some time until you loot them. Okay, so our health is at 75%. Let's... Um, how's our food? Yeah, you know, we could stand to eat, too. So let's grab our meat. We'll eat that, and that'll get us um, some health back and some... Uh, and our nutrition's all the way back. So hydration's still a, a, a little low, but it's not terrible yet. Okay, let's continue on here. So we're going to go down here now. Now, we still might run into some dudes down here, or maybe not. And they still can come down the stairs after us, too. So we just have to be on our guard. Okay, nothing in there. We got some more cloth and duct tape in there. Uh, you can use the cloth to make duct tape. So we got some carbon in here uh, and some iron. I think I'm going to leave... The carbon until the last because you know there's more important things we want to get and if we still have space left over we'll grab the carbon because i don't think we need the carbon immediately but we definitely are going to need iron so we'll come back here and grab this carbon if we have room for it um, after we finish the place all right let's keep moving here Still nervous about the guy that glitched up into the ceiling, man. I guess he's stuck up there. Okay, more food. Very good. And uh, there, here's an ammo box. So we're going to take that. Very useful. All right, there's another minotaur way down there. And then there's some, um, uh, some deposits here, too. I'm going to... I'm going to hope that that guy stays up at the ceiling because... Shut up. If he if he gets uh, out and comes after us, um, I'm going to probably crap my pants. Okay, let's <laughs> let's get this uh, outcropping here. Aluminum, iron. Oh, crap. Okay, we got somebody's attention. These guys can be hard to kill because it's just their, you know, carapace is pretty hard. Ah! Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, if you can get them cornered like that, that's good. Oh, man, here they all come. Holy crap. Okay, let's get back here a little ways further. Okay, Monk. Oh, I didn't know he was behind us. Oh, shit, this is a lot of guys. Okay, let's, let's retreat up to here. Um, and I think we can actually come back here and at least we, you know, they, they only have one way to get to us here. All right, let's, um, get our health up while we're waiting here. We'll just use the small bandages. We're going to need to make a bunch more of those because they're, 
they're easy to make and uh, we need them so yeah come here where I can hit you and you can't hit me that's exactly what I want you to do come on scorpion guy come at me bro okay he's dead good we got two hits off of scorpion monkey this is some pretty creepy looking dudes man kinda reminds me a little bit of dead space okay we got some good hits off on these guys they're not gonna last too much longer hopefully they're not thinking about the same thing about me How's her health? It's not terrible. It's it's about 60%, so. So now it's at about 50%. Man, these guys are tough. They are not going down fast. Jeez Louise. Okay, we better we better uh, take a, a small bandage. We'll take two. But we still have 13 big bandages, so. I mean, I just, I kind of want to conserve those, though. All right, come around, Minotaur. And monkey boy. Monkey scorpion boy. Now we got a third guy showed up at the party here. All right, we got monkey scorpion boy, and we got Minotaur. Now we just have that other thing in my doodle. Kind of get him stuck in there. Uh, yeah, I will seek medical assistance when I'm ready. Okay, let's loot all these guys so we can get rid of them. Okay, let's head back in here for a second. Uh, our health is not good, so I think. Um, how's our nutrition and hydration? It's not good either. I think I'm gonna actually take one of these. This gives us nutrition and some hydration. And some health, too. Yeah, let's do that. Because we get a lot of stuff from that. Okay, and then let's eat some more apples. So now our nutrition's all the way up. Our hydration is not, however, so... Uh, you know what? I should have done the hydration first before the apples so we could get the healing back. That was my mistake. Uh, but what we're gonna do, let's take one more of those. Now let's eat this apple to get some health back. This will give us, um, we have six of these, so this will also give us health and nutrition. But we don't need any more nutrition at the moment. So I think we're gonna also just use a bandage. Vital stabilized. Okay, that gives us three quarters health. We might have cleared the place by now. I'm not 100% sure. But if if we did, then we're golden. But let's uh, let's assume we haven't. We still have the one guy glitched in the ceiling, and he could decide to drop down on our head at any moment. All right, there still is monsters back here. Or maybe I'll say there are still monsters back here if I want to use correct grammar. It just depends upon the day, you know. All right. So there's just carbon in there that we don't need right now. Okay, you know what? I will. I'm gonna come back for for this stuff. Let's deal with the enemies first. Are you stuck? That was a level two snubs. All right. Um. I don't think there's anything back here, but I just wanted to check really quick. We're getting towards the end here. There's the plutonium that we're going to need. Well, I think that's plutonium. Maybe it's lithium. I don't know. We'll see. I think that's lithium, actually. All right. I believe, except for the guy stuck in the ceiling, I think we've cleared the place. So, let's, um, that's lead. Let's go ahead and start mining all of this stuff. 
And uh, like I said, I think we need one more, at least one more titanium. That's going to be the really important thing. Well, and the plutonium as well. So these are straight up copper and lead deposits. The one thing about this place is you can't, you know, you have to get everything in one trip because as soon as you leave, the whole place resets. Yeah. Excuse me. That's lithium, iron, magnesium, lead. Let's check these guys. Uh, oh, good. We got some uh, an ammo clip and a barrel. Very nice. We need that for sure. That's carbon. We're going to save that for the last. Uh, we've got a battery cell, which is good. Cloth and uh, duct tape in both of those. So I think that is it, guys, for all the containers that we can loot. So let's get the rest of the ore except for the carbon, and then we'll do the carbon last. Oh, good. We got titanium. Okay, so we got the titanium requirement fulfilled. I don't know if we've uh, found any plutonium yet, so we'll just keep going and see what we can do here. Here's another Hardness 5 outcropping. We, oh, by the way, if you haven't already noticed, we get engineering points when we mine. Okay, let's go back up here for a second. I think we've mined out all of the mineral deposits except for the carbon. Pretty sure we've hit all of them. Okay, well... Then let's go back. Do we have any plutonium? Let's look. That's lithium. We don't. Okay, so we're probably going to have to make another trip in here um, and just kind of keep farming the place until we get the plutonium that we need. Um, or the other option is we go out and do it on the surface, but in some ways doing it in here is actually a little safer, which is kind of crazy considering the monsters, but you just don't, you know, we're not really in a good position right now to be going too far from base out on the surface because you know we can run into nasty monsters we can run into really bad sandstorms that can damage us and who knows what else so we kind of want to stay relatively close to camp until you know we're a little bit better detected. oh shit that scared me <laughs> where the hell did you guys come from what no way that's hacks that's total hacks. They just like all came right on out of the wall. Doiny rants. Yeah, you take that, man. See what I'm I'm right in front of him and I strike and it doesn't hit him. That's just bullshit. Seek medical assistance immediately. Okay, you know what? We better run back to our little hidey hole so we can get a little more protection. All right. Those guys just, like, completely popped right on out of the wall. What in the heck, man? Oh, shit. I hope they can't, like, clip through here. I saw his leg. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come over here, man. I don't think you can hit his legs. Well, you can kind of hit it at the shoulder. Well, the good news is we're going to have plenty of meat when we come, when we leave this place. Um, so, you know, there you go. And we're going to ha we have a bunch of points now too. We have combat points and uh, engineering points from coming in here. All right, let's um Go back down this way. Yeah, those bastards just came right on out of the wall. I think I think there used to be a, another room there, but I don't see an opening for it. You come here. Are, wait, are you stuck? 
Can't tell if he's stuck or not. There's another one too, so... I, th I think he's stuck. Alright, well, if he's stuck, that's fine with me. He can just stay stuck. Alright, we got this guy here. Yeah, they all... They all, like, came out of here. There's supposed to be a... A room in here. Dehydration detected. Uh, or there used to be anyway, but I don't see the opening. I saw somebody else on a YouTube video go into a, a side room here, but it's not there anymore. Or at least the opening is, but it looks like the monsters just came right out of there anyway. So bizarre. Okay, well, let's deal with this guy. Our hydration and water is not in good shape right now. What, uh, see? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. He can go... Can I go through here? No, I can't. I can't go through there. Only he can. Weird. Alright, let's do this. Let's go in here. I'm going to take all three of these for hydration and then we'll... Then we're going to eat this. And we're going to eat these, which will give us decent health and uh, healing. Okay, so our hydration's still not great, but we're almost done, so I think we'll be okay. Because uh, we should have some water in the little distiller thing outside. Look at this. We have 23 combat points and 24 engineering points um, to spend. But I'm not going to do that until we get outside. All right, so yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. But let's go, let's go grab the... Did we leave some carbon back here or did we already get it? I can't remember. Uh, I think we must have grabbed it. Okay, let's get going. How injured are we? We're a little less than three quarters. But, I mean, as long as we don't get any more surprises. Uh, is that the dude? Oh, there's a dude stuck in the wall there, too. Okay. Well, I mean, if he's going to stay stuck, then that's his problem, not mine. But, you know, that's kind of what I was saying when we started this series. There, there's still some things they need to fix. <laughs> uh, the, the game is bugged, literally and figuratively. So that, yeah, see, that guy's stuck, and that's fine. He can stay stuck as far as I'm concerned. All right, we have a couple more carbon deposits in here, and then let's get the hell out of here. We'll be in a lot better shape when we get out because we have meat to heal with. We'll have some water. We'll have points to spend. The bad news is we never found any plutonium, so we're going to have to figure that one out. Okay, so I think we've mined everything in here, um, and we're still we're still only at 62.2% weight, which is actually quite generous. Um, but there's no plutonium, unfortunately, so... Um, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna probably have to come back in here. Uh, but let's go ahead and head out. Our knife is not in the re really good shape anymore either, which is kind of a problem, because we need a repair table to fix it, and we're not gonna be able to make that until we can make the, um, the forge, I think. So that's gonna be something where we might have to deal with. We might, we might have to make a cruder weapon first or something, we'll see. Okay, well, guys, I believe that is it for our first foray into the beta mine. Let's head on outside. Might be nighttime, but we'll just scooch back to our hut really quick if it is. Okay, it is daytime. That's good. Or at least not nighttime. I wonder if this thing has respawned. It has, with food and water. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, so before we do anything else, we're going to save our progress. Um, all right, now, let's, um... Oh, man, I thought there'd be more water in there than there is. It's a good thing we actually found some. Okay, let's grab the, uh, the water here. And we'll extract what we can, which isn't very much. 36. And we need to drink that. And that still doesn't get us 
uh, out of the orange, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, we're going to cook all of the meat. Different types of meat that we pulled out of that place. And that's going to really help us with healing and with nutrition. Um, but it's not going to help us a whole lot with hydration. So I think what we do is we go get a shitload of the, uh, the purple berries. Use those for hydration for now. And then use the meat to offset, you know, the, the, the health damage that it does to us. Let's eat the apples now. Okay, that gets our, our our nutrition all the way back up. We have four more of these too that we can use. And I don't think I don't think can we do anything with potatoes? Raw food that can be eaten to replenish hunger. It's more nutritious when cooked. Can be eaten while equipped or straight from the storage. Okay, so if I guess so does it give 25 nutrition bonus raw? Or I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. We'll have to figure that one out. Okay, now, um, the next thing we're going to do, it's getting dark. We don't want to be out at nighttime. Not right now. Not a good idea. But let's go ahead and grab our 12 pieces of meat, which is wonderful. And we're going to uh, we're gonna start processing iron and titanium first, and then probably aluminum. And when those are done, then we'll process the other, uh, the other stuff and get that done. All right, you guys. Well... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just hunker down for the night in the hut, get the rest of the ores processed, and then in the morning, we will start episode three and figure out what we're going to do next. Um, probably what makes the most sense is to go back into uh, the beta mine again, and because we have to find plutonium. That's the thing that's holding us up, is we got to find plutonium in order to make the forge. So we need to find a total of eight plutonium ore to make four ingots. We're set on the iron and the titanium. It's just the plutonium. So um, we'll probably do another foray into the beta mine um, tomorrow morning. And if uh, that doesn't yield plutonium, then either I will continue to farm it off camera um, or we'll have to go in search of it on the surface. So we'll figure that out uh, in the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.